Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video, and today we're going to be looking at a YouTuber slash TikToker called Isaac HP. Now, Isaac was known for his variety of comedy videos back at the beginning of 2021 and further on, but most recently, in the past coming months, he has made a lot of, let's say, minion-based videos. And there's nothing wrong with this, but he's gone from doing comedy and stand-up comedy to doing this. <laughs> And people are quite concerned for him, especially because of how quickly his content changed and how quite emotional and just depressed he looks in his videos. Now, it brings a, quite an eerie presence, like watching Nick Okada, Ricardo, Trisha Paytas, Anision, and a lot of them side of YouTubers that have a lot of mental issues, and this is what I was generally wondering, if he had a mental health issue, and genuinely, I still think he does, I don't know if he does, because I haven't found anything, and obviously, if he does, he might not want to be speaking about it, so that might not be why it's on social media, obviously, so I'm taking all of this with a pinch of salt that he might have a mental health condition, he might have a condition that means he's acting like this, I'm not here to judge, I'm just here to simply explain and show clips of what's happening because at the end of the day he's not hurting anyone and this is behind closed doors so he could well have a condition so we're taking this all with a pinch of salt and not harassing the poor guy are you at the end of your ropes do you feel like today might be your last day are you extremely depressed well guess what i've got something that will cheer you up a banana <laughs> to me, personally, especially with what I've said about mental health, this could be a call out for help. He's talking about depression and putting spins on it with bananas and stuff and minions that I'm assuming make him feel comfortable in his own skin. No joke intended there. So I guess that this is, to me personally, this is what I see, a subliminal message calling out for help without him realising it. I, I don't know. It could just be for jokes and fair enough. I, I can't complain if it is. But I, it just makes me think about that he's trying to send out a message to his followers to get help. I've now got myself my very own minion son. I'm going to look after him. But just genuinely, I really can't sit here and make jokes. There is a lot of joke potential here, a lot of joke potential. But I just don't get it. He's gone from making this kind of content. Rest in peace to Prince Philip. Rest in peace, mate. Rest in peace, you cheeky fucking man. It's a shame you'll never get to watch Toy Story 5. It's a real shame. You would have loved to have watched Toy Story 5. And being on Will and E's channel, anti-social podcast, and doing a lot more for JD, to making this kind of content, then. <laughs> Now, genuinely, I might be looking into this too much, and a lot of you probably will think so in the comments down below, but I'm just trying to look from this in a logical way. Yes, it's 50-50 here. He could be just changing his content and adapting on a meme that became popular on his channel, or it could be a call-out for help, or he could just have a mental condition that people don't know about. You can't judge this person purely based off of his minion actions. Nothing says being a UK citizen more than a nice Space Raider and ketchup sandwich. On second thoughts, this guy's a crazy cunt. You end up feeling sympathetic towards him, like you do with Nick Ocado Avocado, like you do with Trisha Paytas, and like you do with a lot of other YouTubers that do this and other stuff along these lines. And it's devastating to see because he's gone from this really funny creator to quite a sad individual, and this might be because, again, he's got some sort of mental illness, and I'm not saying he does. I'm saying it's a 50-50 here because everyone has their own mental problems at home. They all have their own problems. So I'm just trying to rush now why he's doing this because a lot of people are calling him crazy, and I just don't I think that's justified. Then there's this famous video of him standing next to a train in his full minion outfit, no money in hand, no phone, no stuff. A lot of people have said stuff like jump, you would be doing the world a favour and just criticising his mental health and just criticising him for doing this. Now genuinely, if I have to have my say on it, I'm going to have my say on it. He's just dressed up in a minion suit with yellow paint on his face here. It genuinely could be a mental breakdown and I'm not ruling that out, but at the same time it just could be because he's doing 
doing this for laughs and views and TikTok. And again, it, both of them are equally justified, but I just don't get the point of calling this guy crazy and let's say he does actually have a mental condition. You're just making it worse by doing so. I'm a very firm believer in innocent till proven guilty and that you need a lot of evidence to back something up. And genuinely, there just isn't enough evidence here to say that this guy has a mental problem or this guy's just doing it for the views or that that it's equally justified for people to call him crazy it just isn't there you can't do that he's innocent he isn't doing anything he isn't harming anyone and so far it doesn't look like he's harming himself and we just don't know what's going on behind closed doors he could actually be severely depressed behind closed doors he could be quite emotional behind closed doors we just do not know what is going on behind someone's life all you are seeing is a talk talk persona and that's it to be honest the only fucking outrageous thing i've seen is the price of his fucking merchandise but yeah i don't feel like there's a reason to judge this guy at all yeah you can make the odd joke about i don't know his merch prices or about that he's eating a banana or, or something, okay? You can do whatever, but when it comes to him and doing his actions, he's not hurting anyone, he's not specifically doing anything. He just looks very emotional. And if this guy is struggling with something, you've got to give him respect. And you've got to give him time and peace to deal with it how he needs to deal with it. So thank you for watching today's video. I understand that this topic of a video might be quite disturbing, a bit like his live streams. It is just quite a hard topic for a lot of people. And including me, it's a hard topic to discuss, especially anxiety, depression, and all of the following. I just It's just a hard topic for a lot of people to talk about. But I felt like using him as a prime example to talk about how people on the internet mistreat people like that struggle with a mental condition or even struggle just bully people for the sake of bullying without any constructive criticism or without any meaning so thank you for watching today's video i've been your host samuel and if you take anything away from this respect others